Welcome to the Chicago Bears franchise, everybody. It's week five from Minneapolis. We have an NFC North rivalry matchup today with the 3-1 Bears and the 4-0 Minnesota Vikings. Chicago is coming off another impressive victory in come-from-behind fashion against the Atlanta Falcons. They took over the game in the second half and won a game that I don't think they showed they could win in the first two years of this series. The Bears are trying to show that they are moving up to that next level and turning the corner, and we'll see if they continue their strong play today. Off we go in Minnesota and taking it out of the end zone, this is Stephon Diggs right up the middle and stopped near the 25-yard line. The Vikings have been very good this season, but they have been without their starting quarterback, Sam Bradford. They've turned things over to Austin Davis, who's helped them win their last two games. He makes another start here, and we have movement on the first play as Pernell McPhee jumps. First and five, and going empty for Austin Davis. Short catch is made, and showing off the elusiveness is Adam Thielen, who makes the catch and run of 11 yards. There is a lot to like in this Viking offense with their skill players. Here's Davis off play action going long, and that's a catch. What a play by Stephon Diggs with Curry Peters all over him. 28 yards to Diggs. Now they hand it off. This might be the best of the bunch. It's Dalvin Cook who gets five, taking him over 400 rushing yards on the season. Austin Davis again to the air, sliding right and wide open. Diggs up the sideline and stopped near the five. It's 21 more yards, and the Vikings have quickly gotten inside the 10. Chicago without four of their key defenders this week as Cook takes the pitch and is lifted off his feet by Curry Peters. Good tackle. No Leonard Floyd, so Cliff Averill steps in today. Davis third down, good protection and wide open. There's Kyle Rudolph with the touchdown and the Vikings put together a very impressive opening sequence. I wondered how well Davis would play in this game and his first drive was very impressive. 7-0 Vikings, and now the Chicago offense. Welcoming back Jordan Howard, who's battled through injuries the last couple weeks. He gets 11 here on his first carry. We've seen an awful lot of C.J. Ross already this season. On first down, Trubisky throws across the middle, and there is the Golden Gopher, Max Williams, returning to Minnesota. First and 10, and all over it. Oh, no, Howard brought down for a big loss. This is where you can get into trouble against this defense with their edge rushers. But good protection, Trubisky has it deflected and picked off by Eric Kendricks. This defense is still excellent and they generate a lot of sacks and takeaways. There's a deflection right to Kendricks and the Vikings take over in Chicago territory. Davis to Dalvin Cook, up the middle here for about five yards. Marquis Starling still getting a lot of these nickel linebacker snaps. Third down, off play action, rolling out, no one's there. Davis running free inside the 30 and caught from behind at last, but not until he gets about 20 yards on the run. Davis with good mobility, we've seen it on a couple occasions already. It's Cook now up the middle, again for about five, stopped by Averill. Third and short, Minnesota back to Cook, and he's got the first. A great push up front from the offensive line nearly leads him to the end zone, but it's still first and goal from the three. Two tight ends in the game, now a pass. Davis looking for room, he won't find it. There's Eddie Jackson racing up to bring him down. Three receivers now for Minnesota, play fake. Davis now working to his left again under pressure and taken down there is Dante Rooks even though Bram Durth has been hurt I don't view Rooks as a backup level player third and goal for Minnesota Davis with time finds Rudolph again Rudolph the red zone reindeer scores his second touchdown of the day Vikings on top here early in dominant fashion we're beginning to understand why this team is 4-0. Back to Chicago, nice run here for Jordan Howard as he gets about 15. Chicago needs to put together a good possession here. That defense has already spent most of this quarter on the field. We'll give it to Ross now as he checks into the game after running for over 130 yards a week ago. Howard back in now, he gets the call. Three straight runs and they move the chains twice. 
From the 43 of Minnesota as this first quarter winds down, Trubisky throws it quickly and Meredith on the slant hangs on for the catch. Cam coming off a good performance last week, 89 yards and a score. Now it's going to be Trubisky on the rollout to his right, floating it out deep and that's a catch for Max Williams! An incredible adjustment in midair to make this 28 yard reception. There's a linebacker all over him. Max has been a nice value signing for our Bears this year. From the six, here goes Howard. No room whatsoever. Trey Waynes helps protect that left edge. Third and goal and they go empty. Minnesota sends four, good protection. Trubisky on target, touchdown, Harlan Regis. It's the rookie's third touchdown catch of the season and Trubisky puts this in the perfect spot even before Regis breaks on his route. 14-7, great response for Chicago. But now I hope we see something from this defense. Davis off play action and wide open in the middle. That's Diggs. And that's where our defense was very weak. We're clearly missing Marcus Calhoun at linebacker. Fake now to Dalvin Cook. And Davis underneath. Now Roberts makes the catch and gets tripped up by Callahan. Davis with a 7 of 7 start. We'll give him an easy one now. 8 of 8 finding Dalvin Cook. And the chains move again for Minnesota. 12-16 to go in the first half, now split backs. Davis, good protection, airs it out, caught again, Stephon Diggs. A big problem for this secondary already. Davis from the 24. They fake it to Cook again, they want to go long. Davis to the end zone, and intercepted, it's Eddie Jackson. And he will wait a moment and then take a knee. He thought about returning, but makes a smart play and it was his third interception of the season. Jackson doing exactly what you want to do in a contract year. So there's the takeaway for Chicago. Play action, caught, here is Shaheen, but not much separation there against Kendricks. Third down for Trubisky, it's a tight formation. The ball's out quickly and caught again by Harlan Regis for a gain of seven. I thought the offense grew a lot last week with these short passes and getting Trubisky on the move. They're trying a lot more of that this week. Cohen now rushes ahead for two. Trubisky facing the third and six, and this time he has no chance. Here's why we might need more of that mobility today. Daniil Hunter and Everson Griffin are a tremendous duo. Hunter has five and a half sacks now on the season. Tony Garcia completely overmatched. About halfway through this second quarter, the Vikings take over up seven. Cook along the sideline makes a good play in the air this time. Ball at the 40-yard line, offset pistol. Here goes Cook, and he finds the opening, and there's no one left. With that home run hitting ability, it's Dalvin Cook for the touchdown as Peters made a valiant attempt to catch him. Perfect blocking by Minnesota. They have left tackle A.J. Flynn get out to Eddie Jackson to secure this touchdown. And yes, Flynn was a player I definitely considered drafting this past offseason. It's again a 14-point game, and we saw one edge last drive, and here's the other one, Everson Griffin. Third and long for Chicago. The blitz is sent and picked up to the middle now. Richardson cannot hang on. The Vikings will apply pressure and contest about every throw you try to make. Impressive half here for the Vikings. Austin Davis to the air and incomplete for Dalvin Cook. That's Danny Trevathan who's taken over Marcus Calhoun's role in the nickel covering running backs primarily. Davis now third and seven and he's going down. Pernell McPhee having another productive year with the Bears. Bears will get it back now, down 14 as Ryan Quigley sends this off. And from inside the five, Cohen's going to return this. Normally you're not supposed to do this at all, but Cohen makes it work. He's out across the 30 and makes it a 30-yard return. I guess it was worth it. Now can the offense put a drive together? There's Regis in motion. Trubisky short and Williams immediately hit by Kendricks. This defense really limits your yards after the catch. Third down, Trubisky looking to the middle, and that's broken up by Eric Kendricks, who's all over the place today. That drive didn't last long. The Vikings have another chance now in a two-minute drill. It's a screen, and Dalvin Cook has blockers and gets tripped up. 
a little more patience there and he might still be running. A minute to go here in the first half. Third down, Austin Davis. Drifting back. Now throws it short. Thielen tackled shy of the sticks by Marquis Starling. And it looks like this one is just going to go to half. 21-7 Minnesota. And they've had a very impressive half of offense. The Bears only had one good drive. And they're going to need a lot more than that in the second half. I think we understand why this is one of the last three unbeaten teams in the league. The Vikings have played well on both sides of the football. It's a big challenge for our Bears, and we'll see if they are up for it here in the second half as Ross opens here with the carry, and he gets maybe two yards. Howard here on third down is the back. Trubisky gets time. He's going deep here for his running back who lays out. What a grab. But Trubisky had a chance there for maybe a touchdown if he hits him in stride. Cohen now checks in, every running back getting involved. To the left side here, outruns his blocker and Harrison Smith as well. He just has rare burst. And that's one of the best examples of what sets him apart from other running backs. Play fake now to Howard as Trubisky rolls right, stops, throws, it's tipped and caught. What a strange play, Shaheen ends up with it. That was Xavier Rhodes with the deflection. Here's Trubisky again throwing quickly. Max Williams. No, they're calling this incomplete. That's a borderline fumble there at the one yard line. Third down now for Trubisky. Blitz picked up and Trubisky's on target. That extra time letting him find Cameron Meredith. We're seeing them block their tight ends and backs a little bit more now. As Cohen runs up the middle, he gets a few. Opening it up again, empty set for Trubisky. Quickly throwing to the end zone and incomplete for Adam Shaheen. Pretty good possession, but the Bears only get three. 21 to 10 now, Minnesota breaking a tackle. Dalvin Cook is dragged down by Trevathan. He's got elusiveness, he can break tackles. Cook is the total package. Play action now, Davis wants to go deep. He'll put it up for Thielen, and he can't bring it down, but there is a flag. He was covered by a Mukamara, and they're going to flag him for defensive pass interference. I'm not sure I agree with that call at all. I thought he played the ball really well. Cook is going to get the carry now, and he gets shut down quickly by Marquis Starling. You see the Vikings open it up now. Third down. Davis flips around to his left. Can't run for it. Awkward throw all the way across the field. Flag down. And this is going to be a legal touching on Dalvin Cook as he did step out of bounds just barely. So a field goal try now for Minnesota. This is a 50-yarder. Right hash. And the kick just enough. It is good. 24-10 Vikings. About seven minutes off the clock here in the third quarter. Both teams add three. Good escape here by Trubisky, but no time to slide. Brought down by Mac Alexander. High formation now behind Burton. They'll give it to Howard, and he'll get the first down yardage. Howard just 36 yards on his 11 carries. Ross checks in now. He's getting a lot of playing time, and now it's another sack. Daniil Hunter gets around Tony Garcia for the second time. Third down for Minnesota. Now they keep the back end to protect. Good job by Cohen. Trubisky buying time outside. Redirects the play and finds Adam Shaheen. What an awesome play from Cohen's rush pickup to Trubisky's freelancing. Chicago continues now in Viking territory and there's room outside for Jordan Howard. Stopped by Waynes after a nine yard run. At the 34. It's C.J. Ross now, and Ross breaks through initial contact and picks up a few. We're seeing a lot of running back rotation this week. Howard in the game now. Griffin's there. Trubisky won't go down. He gets away, and now we'll run with it. Mitchell Trubisky moves the chains. I feel like we're getting a lot of Trubisky's best play this season. Ball at the 15, Trubisky puts it up and overthrows Harlan Regis. Just got to bring that one down a little bit. Third down and again they go empty. They want to stretch this defense. Trubisky on target. Nice catch by Adam Shaheen. That's become a major strength of his. 
from the six. Howard gets the call, and he is brought down quickly at the six-yard line. These are some of the hardest yards to pick up in football. Howard again, now up the middle, he's in. Touchdown, Chicago. Looked like Minnesota wasn't ready for that call whatsoever. If you go back and watch this drive again, there were a lot of great plays, and this is what it takes to get a touchdown on a team like Minnesota. 24-17. This ought to be the last play of the quarter. Davis throws it out to Seth Roberts and gets pretty good yardage. Austin Davis has had a solid game, all things considered. On second down to start the fourth, Cook makes a man miss and is taken down by Amukamara. You don't want to give him too much space. He's now over 500 rushing yards this year. To the air now, quick throw, Bucky Hodges will move the chains. Austin Davis continues to play efficient football as well, 17 of 20 passing. Draw play, Cook finds the opening, and it's a big one, first down. Dalvin Cook for 13, now up to 128. Keep in mind who Chicago is without, Jalen Egbo, Bram Durth, Marcus Calhoun, Leonard Floyd. But now they do get to Austin Davis, and McVee registers his second sack of the day. Bears looking for a third and long stop. Davis outside, overthrowing Dalvin Cook. And that will bring on the kicking team again. Minnesota added three in the third. Now from 46, they'll put three more on the scoreboard, 27 to 17. Chicago's had to do their best to keep up all day, and this could be a make or break drive down 10 with 10 minutes to play. Here's Jordan Howard again getting good yardage on first down to the 37. Vikings showing blitz now, and they're bringing it. Swing out, Jordan Howard moves the chains. Not a bad play there to call against the blitz. At the 41, now Cohen is the back. He motions left. Another screen, and Cohen dashes ahead for about six more. Got to get that football out quick. You can't afford negative plays at this point of the game. Blitz sent by Minnesota. Trubisky with time moves the chains again. This time it's Paul Richardson. Meredith isolated to the left side. Here's Trubisky. No extra protection here. Quick throw again. Shaheen near the 40. That's about five yards. Now they open things up again. Trubisky on second down has the screen set up. Adam Shaheen makes the catch but can't quite convert. We've now seen three different screen plays on this possession. Third and two. Cohen now quickly gets the first down before Daniil Hunter can bring him to the ground. 6.38 on the clock. First down. Trubisky. He steps up away from pressure. Can't run for much, but he'll get what he can, and it's about one yard. Again, we see Chicago go empty. Third down, Meredith slot right. Trubisky, the rush is there, and the pass is broken up by Eric Kendricks. Minnesota gets the stop, and here is the field goal team for Chicago. 51 yards, and Matt Prater splits the uprights. Now it's a seven-point game. Chicago with very little room for error. Defense needs a stop. Davis turns, hands it to Cook, who is stuffed for a big loss, and that's Jarrell Holland. That's a big play on first down for the second-year player. Cook shaken up, so now Bilal Powell checks in. Davis under pressure, he's going down! And McPhee makes it a hat trick. Minnesota wanted to go deep, and instead they have a three and out. Chicago now takes over. Can they go tie this game? Nice hit here on Howard as the Vikings start out with a good play. Bears facing second and 13. Trubisky short for Regis. He can't hang on. Good hit. Minnesota's contested so many of these catches. And now they can send the pass rush on third and 13. Good time though. And Trubisky finds Regis. How did he catch that football? I'm not even sure how Trubisky got it there in the first place. Xavier Rhodes was right there, but he couldn't knock it away. Chicago now at the Viking 37. They have a counter and room for Jordan Howard up near the 30-yard line, stopped by Harrison Smith. We're down to two and a half minutes to play. Cohen motions out. But now they don't want the screen. It's Regis up near the 22, gain of seven. 
Regis is making a lot of big plays early in his career. Two minutes left to play in Minnesota. Pressure's on Trubisky, and there are at least, how many are there? Three defenders who all bring him down. Again, they go backwards on first down, second and 19. Trubisky climbing, fires incomplete. Broken up by Mackenzie Alexander. They got the third and 13, now it's a third and 19. Trubisky gets time, airs it out, and there's Richardson. He got matched up against Kendricks, and the Bears are down to the one. Chicago looking for the tie. Howard on the stretch, chased down by Daniil Hunter. The clock continues to run. 19 seconds left, running again. Touchdown, Jordan Howard. What a half for Chicago. Again, they defy the odds on these touchdown drives, making tough plays on third down. And the extra point ties the game up at 27. Another fourth quarter comeback. We'll see what the Vikings do with just seconds remaining. Davis here on the move and not much time left. He turns it up, moves the chains as we hit triple zeros. We are going to overtime. Another amazing game and this year has already seen a couple. We've had a lot of fun and the Bears are hoping for one more victory here on the road. They pulled it off last week in Atlanta. Now they've got to go to overtime. And the Bears have the football first. A touchdown wins the game. Running it here with Howard. Finds his opening, but it's closed up by Trey Waynes. From the 32-yard line, two tight ends here for Chicago. Trubisky throws it quick, and Regis hangs on this time despite the hit from Kendricks. From the 43. Another first down handoff. Howard stays behind his blocks and runs over a defender on his way to a gain of six. 22 carries now for Jordan Howard. Trubisky second down, sees his opening, and look at all this room. Trubisky down to the 30, runs ahead for 18. Chicago in field goal range, and they keep it on the ground. Off tackle here with Jordan Howard as he gets around seven. Offset eye, Burton in the game. They go play action, bootleg right. Trubisky dumps it off and Burton will move the sticks. They get a fresh set of downs at the Viking 20. Can the Bears end this game? Again from the eye, now it's Ross who trips and he might have cost himself a touchdown right there. Still nine yards. On third and one, Ross again. The rookie gets the job done. Chicago continues to battle down the field. Now from the tight formation. On second down, Trubisky short. Regis unable to make the catch. Makes it third and goal. Now can Chicago find the end zone? Their last chance. Rush picked up. And the pass is knocked away from Meredith. It was a little behind him and that allowed Trey Waynes to get his hand in there. We're going to see a field goal try. The Vikings will have a chance. 23 yards here for Matt Prater. And the kick is good. So the Bears have the lead. And they used up a lot of this overtime clock. The Vikings now need to answer. Davis fakes the Dalvin Cook. They want a big play already. Under pressure, heaves it long and is intercepted. That's the game right there. Amos just go down. He takes it out of bounds of the Viking bench, and this game is over. Bears do it again. Three straight victories. 30-27 as the boos reign in here in U.S. Bank Stadium. Another classic game in the Chicago Bears franchise. We come back from down 18 against the Falcons, and then down 10 in the fourth quarter against the Vikings. It takes overtime to get the job done, but it shows just how far this team has come. Watch our touchdown drives in that second half. Those were not typical possessions. The Vikings made us work, and we just made a lot of, quite frankly, low percentage plays. Plays you can't just count on. But this year, we have the ability to make games like this a reality. We're having so many players come up in games like this to make key plays. Whether it was that one play by Jarrell Holland stuffing Dalvin Cook for a loss. 
or that third and long catch by Harlan Regis with Vikings all around him. Trubisky breaking out of the sack from Everson Griffin. There are so many little instances that could have changed the entire game. If we don't make one of those plays, the Vikings probably win the game. But that's the magic of football. Sometimes you can string together enough excellence to win a game that you maybe shouldn't have. And again, the Bears continue this season with another impressive victory. We will take on the Oakland Raiders next episode. No new injuries for us this week, and the Raiders are fully healthy. They have a really good roster, and of course, seeing Daniil Hunter overmatch Tony Garcia has me very worried about Khalil Mack. However, our double teams did seem to work pretty well today. So don't expect a lot of tight ends in the pass pattern next week. We're going to have to help out our right tackle. This Raiders roster is very familiar outside of a notable departure at wide receiver. You might have heard of him. His name is Amari Cooper. He was a free agent who decided that he didn't want to join the Chicago Bears and instead took a lot less money to head to Cleveland. He is not having a productive season, just 35.6 yards a game, and the Browns are the only winless team in the league. You can call it the Kane curse, the Cooper curse, whatever you want to call it. Amari Cooper is no longer a Raider, and so we're going to see Michael Crabtree. They have a pretty good rookie too, Rowan Springs at receiver. But I'm looking forward to this matchup to see if we can get another victory against a good football team. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave your feedback in the comments. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, unless you're Amari Cooper.